the fullness of him who fills all in all. This phrase is difficult to interpret, it's much debated. But I agree with John Calvin who writes here, this is the highest honor of the church that until he is united to us, the Son of God reckons himself in some measure incomplete. What consolation it is for us to learn that until we are in his presence, does he possess all his parts? And does he wish to be regarded as complete. This is Christ's love for us. This is our union to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the empowering grace God has given us in Christ. We are His body, the fullness of Him who fills all in all. Christ fills all in all. We serve. We preach and we witness and we suffer and we minister. As we behold this exalted Christ and are reminded of the power of God and Christ at work on our behalf that we might live out the life of the teachings of our faith to the glory of God. An author in his later days wrote of living in the college dorm in his youth. And there was an old music teacher there they struck up a friendship and developed a daily routine that strengthened their bond. On his way out, the author would go into the old music teacher's room and say to him, old man, what's the news today? The old man would take his tuning fork and strike it against his wheelchair and say, young man, the good news today is what you just heard is middle C. It was middle C yesterday. It's middle C today and a thousand years from now it'll still be middle C. The tenor upstairs sings off note. The piano across the hall is flat, but this is middle C. So is Christ to us. Yesterday, today, and forever. This exalted, enthroned, reigning Christ is our hope and our strength and our joy. Praise Him for it. Father, thank you for your word today. Thank you for the reminders of your power put on display in Christ. Cosmic realities. Sovereign authority. Eternal reign. That is meant to meet us in our prayer closets as we intercede for the saints, as we bring our own needs before you, Lord, as we live out our faith in Christ, carry out the calling to preach the word, shepherd the people that you've entrusted to our care. Thank you that your immeasurable great power is at work on our behalf. And may your people today here who have heard your word be comforted and strengthened and encouraged by the fact that we are not in this by ourselves. The exalted Christ is the one 
who has given us his spirit. We are beneficiaries of the indwelling presence of the life giver king so that we might live obediently and serve faithfully for your glory. Amen.